hello and welcome to this blender tutorial brought to you by louis art so over the past few weeks i've been seeing some cool vi looking videos of a paid add-on called box cutter so this add-on is mostly useful for hard surface modeling and one of the most prominent feature in that add-on is the boolean tool um so the way it handles it is quite neat i like the result which it produces so most of us can afford the add-on so that's why i i should do a research on how i can get cleaner results using the boolean tool so that's what i'm going to be sharing with you guys today okay so if you don't know what a boolean tool is let me quickly show you that so um if i select this object and go into my modifier tab then if i on that generate i want to select boolean then the object i will use this eyedropper to, to select this guy so now once I move this, you can see we can cut into the mesh. So that's really awesome because it comes really hand handy whenever doing hard surface modeling. But what do we get um, whenever we try to do bullet? We try, we most of the times we end up with ugly looking results like this. Yeah, so let's jump in and start. So we're working with this um, object trying to make it look good. So what do we have here? Um, in the modifier tab, I have a bevel modifier that makes it look, um, to make the edge look smoother, okay? And then I have the boolean here, so it's, it sets to different, that's, we have, that's why we have an indentation here. So, um, number one tip um, to get a nice looking mesh, you want to go to this object data panel, this triangle, and on the normal, you want to click on auto smooth, so you can see with it on, we don't have those artifact and you can also play with the angle as you can see if you go closer if you play with the angle um some areas get smoother and so at 30 this it didn't smooth out this area but at 45 it cleaned it up perfectly so you want to play with the angle levels to get a desired re um, result um so let's just add more cool indentation to this cube okay so um, everything looks neat but it's too neat and, and nothing in this world is perfect as you can see this edge uh, these edges are so sharp that I'm sure just looking at it is gonna cut you <laughs> um, so uh, let's fix that in the modifier tab we want to go and grab the be um, bevel modifier once more and try to fix that so by default it's set to limit method to none so we want to set it to angle okay and we can smooth this out and let's make sure this is smooth out okay so we want to set it to angle um so you can see the difference between that because the none is going to apply bevel to the whole model but the angle is going to try to apply um, bevel to just any sharp angle you can see okay um, so once you do that, everything is looking good. So let's um, kind of reduce the width because it's kind of much. And we can add more segments to just add more detail. Okay, so one thing you want to also enable is this hard normal. So hard, selecting this is going to make the mesh look even more cleaner. As you can see with the hard normal. And increasing the segment even cleans it up perfectly. So what did we learn today? So number one, using this auto smooth and playing with the angles can get you a good result. Okay. Um, number two, um, using the bevel and setting it to angle and also enabling this hard number is also going to boost the result at the end. Um, so finally, so let's say we are happy with this result and we want to create a mesh from this we can just easily go to this object convert to mesh from uh, mesh from any data so once you do that it's going to apply the whole modifier and we can delete this so we have this as a mesh yeah so that's it guys thank you for watching this tutorial i hope it was helpful if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up and if you wish to see more from me you uh, you can hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell for more notification when i post something new thank you again for watching see you next time